Hello. Good morning, everyone. My name is Ethan Yang. I'm a deputy manager at WeWin, and I'm very excited and happy to be here at OCSB Summit 2019. And I'll give you guys a brief product introduction of what WeWin has on offer this year. So the first, let's take a look at this first one here. So this is the SV302G3. This is a 1U two-node module. As you can see here, you can see the latch. Now, uh, for this configuration, uh, you can modularize it. So what we have here is four NVMe SSDs in the front, and this is a two-socket uh, node. And for, you can have two nodes in the 1U chassis, and this is good for um, front I.O. and or maybe applications such as uh, edge or high performance, high memory application needs. So that moving on, let's look at the Open19 uh, new model that we have this year. So this is the SV6100 G3. And as you can see, we have four. Uh, this can be uh, 3.5 or uh, two and a half uh, hard drives storage. And this is a, this is a two socket uh, mo mo motherboard as well. And this is the latest uh, from the Open19 uh, committee. Okay, moving on, we have the uh, latest update of the SV5100 G3. This is from the Project Olympus. So, yeah, if you're familiar with that in the OCP uh, projects for, for Project uh, Olympus. And this is also two socket, two processors. And we have three PCI 3.0 by 16 slots in the front. And this can fit uh, many M.2 SSDs. So. Yeah, that, that is the, the server from Project Olympus. And this is also a new one for, for Project Olympus, but we've, uh, we've shown this last year. This is a ST5100. This is a 1U16 uh, EDSFF NVMe JBOF. So the highlight is the ruler SSDs we have here. So you can see, you can come and take a look. This is a new form factor that they, are, uh, they can use for this NVMe. Uh, unit and another highlight of this year is that we have an immersion cooling tank the two-phase immersion cooling using uh, dielectric the liquid flu liquid for the cooling and this liquid is actually uh, 56 degrees so it's Celsius it's kind of hot but uh, yeah it works and as you can see uh, this is a joint effort with the Microsoft so you can see uh, this machine is powered on all the heat from where the where the main workloads or the main work is being conducted from the processors. And yeah, this is a live working machine. And all the, it's, this is the same Olympus board. All they really did was modify some mechanics such as tilting the the PSU and as well as the hard drive, the boot disk. So yeah, overall it's the same unit and it can be powered using the liquid cooling. Now moving on, we have the two-stage 48 volt DC technology. And the main piece of this is this new uh, conversion board from 48 volt to 12 volt. So leaving your original motherboard untouched, you just add this converter board. And uh, what comes in as 48 volt can be converted to 12 volt. And for ultimately the power efficiency that you will use with this technology. So right here we have uh, working pro prototype on, on show, shown. And uh, what we have here on this video is just uh, showing how uh, the emergent cooling tank that I mentioned previously works. And it has its own monitoring and it's important to have the monitoring and manageability software. So you can, as you can see how it works on the video. So yeah, <laughs> it has some nice music to go along with it. But yeah, you can see actually our Hyperscale data center and how everything is uh, produced from one of our uh, manufacturing. Okay, and uh, the video is kind of a minute and a half, so you can get a, a view. So I, while while it is going on in the background, I, let me show you some new OCP accessories. So this is our own text fixtures that we can uh, use. So namely, for as you know, the OCP 3.0 mezzanine uh, card spec uh, is out and we use these test fixtures to to test the performance and actually 
uh, the configuration of the OCP 3.0 MES cards. So this is something new that we developed in-house. Okay, and moving on, we have some switches that we're working with WNC. So yeah, they have their on display that we put as well on our booth. And these are the 3.0 uh, Intel's uh, NIC cards that we, it can work with the test fixtures I've shown previously. As you can see, yeah. So the new OCP 3.0 mezzanine or NIC cards. Okay, now uh, on here we have the RSD. Uh, the latest RSD is version 2.3, and um, RSD basically is allows you to work uh, directly with the, the metal, like bare metal. Basically, a better way, a better manageability of your hardware versus previously when you didn't have RSD technology. And what it does, the main component is you create a logical node, and then you can pull your resources and so on. So. And then the main feature is NVMe over fabric. So basically, you can designate the exact amount of NVMe capacity that you want, and RSD will be able to allocate that amount of hardware resources for your node to do the, precisely the workload that you want to run. So that is the main concept and main highlight uh, of RSD. And there's several other details, but uh, yeah. If you can come here, we can ch you can actually watch the whole video and get an even more better idea at our booth. Okay, oh, and right down here, these are the units that um, are compatible with the RSD software currently. So we have the Tioga Pass, and we have the Yosemite version 2, as well as the Bryce Canyon. So yeah, these are the latest OCP models that are compatible with RSD and also um, the current ORV2 ecosystem. Okay, moving on to the last section, we have our new AI. Our new AI, um, uh, section we have several products so we have something new uh, we're working with Intel called uh, open Vino which is open uh, visual inference and neural network optimization and this is a new way of uh, it's, it's basically a framework and it uh, it solves the problem of having dependencies from kind of the training models, languages you use such as TensorFlow or CAFE all the way down to the inference because when you do the inference you need to use, um, you need to, it, it has dependency on the specific, uh, let's say languages or how you develop, what applications you use to develop your training models. So um, for the hardware, uh, you can take a look at our GPU box. This is the SV500G3, uh, okay, as you can see here. And the SV500 G3 is a 4U8X GPU server. Uh, it's also front I/O, and we have uh, eight PCIe 3.0 by 16 slots for actually any form factor as long as it's PCIe. So it can be GPU, FPGAs, or or NICs, and so on. You can take a look at the inside there. Yeah, and the yeah. interior of this 19-inch mm -hmm. box is the same as the 21-inch uh, one, right? Yes, correct. That is correct. Uh, for the 21-inch, it's actually it has a 48-volt feed inside, and this the 19-inch one, um, it's the same, but uh, you know, but it's just the power-wise, and it's for EIA 19-inch. Okay, yeah. as well mechanically. Okay. So now this is the XC200 G2. This is a generation two, and uh, same as well. You can support GPUs, FPGAs, smart NICs, and uh, it actually supports uh, PCI 4.0. Yeah, and it's also front I/O. So that is that, that is the new the new generation two uh, GPU box that we have. So yeah, definitely useful for uh, you know inference. Or, tra or training for your, your AI needs. Okay, yeah, next one. Uh, this is really the, uh, the most powerful one, right? Or, or like this, this is really designed for heavy uh, AI or deep learning applications. So this is the HGX2. This uses the XXM3 NVLink as, um, as this video, the GPU chips and has 16 fully connected GPUs. Okay, using the MVLink fabric. Uh, as you can see, eight Volta XXM3 GPU modules. 
So this, yeah, this model is uh, built for he he heavy workloads in the GPU. And of course, uh, just PCIe 4.0. Yes. You can take a look at the, uh, the back here. And you can see there's, there's multi-layers here that you can see uh, how it's conducted. Okay. Okay, yeah, I think, uh, yeah, that solves everything and hope that gives you a good idea of what WeWin has on offer. And so please go to our website at www.wewin.com or check out our YouTube channel and we can learn more about WeWin's products. Oh, very excited uh, for you guys to come and visit us and learn more. Thank you very much.